what um, when you look at, at what TCU does up front defensively, what uh, what stands out to you? Yeah, you know they're a very fundamentally sound team. Uh, they've had Coach Patterson for 17 years, and I know he just sat down, but they do the same stuff. And they're just very fundamentally sound. They move really well, left and right, and we just got to fit our gaps and block really hard and play physical. Danny, what's your relationship with Josh Sills? I know you guys are kind of from the same area in the country. Did that play any impact in you coming here? Yeah, it did. Yes and no, a little bit. Uh, we knew each other in recruiting growing up, and now uh, we're in the same class, the same area. Kind of went to like a few visits at Miami, Ohio together. And uh, I knew when I got offered here, I knew that he was playing here. And I didn't know if he was coming back or not, but I was like, I really hope he does. Because I, when I knew I committed, I kind of texted him a few there and back, and I was like pretty jacked up when he told me he was coming back. So we're great buddies. We're best friends here. Like we hang out all the time. It's, we have a great bond, and it just shows on the field. You know, we just love playing together, love playing the game. It's, it's awesome. How much has that helped for you, kind of, since he's a guy who transferred in and had to learn this new system? How has that helped you as you've adjusted to this O-line? Oh, it's helped so much. Like, Josh is a great leader. He knows the system really well. And last year, he came in and did the same thing I'm doing this year. And coming in and having a guy that did the same thing that I'm doing this year helped me out. And it just made everything really smooth and the transition way easier. And I just couldn't be more thankful. Is there any certain advice you shared that you'd really try to keep in mind? Uh, just keep your head down and work hard. What you got? You got guys like you and Josh and Jalen and Tay, guys that have transferred in here. They're having a lot of success as, as a part of this team. Is there something? Uh, what what stands? What made the transition so easy for 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 you as a transfer to come in here and, and succeed early? You know, I think it's just the culture here. You know, cowboy culture. Coming here, working hard, keeping your head down, being humble, being polite, and just really just loving the game of football. And Coach Gunny and Coach Glass, they all instill that really well. And the transfers just coming and buy in, and we love it, so it's been awesome. Did that play in during the recruiting process for you? Absolutely, yeah. They have a big family atmosphere here, and I could tell from just getting recruited on video. Like, it's just, it's a great place. Has this kind of met your expectations when you when you go through that process, and now that you're so far into the season, has this kind of met your expectations? Absolutely. It's met my expectations and more, you know. I just, it was COVID when I was getting recruited, so I couldn't really take any visits at all, and it was all online and Zoom and stuff like that. And, I can just tell the culture here was what I wanted to be a part of. It reminds me a lot of my high school back in Indianapolis, you know, just a winning tradition, great culture, great family atmosphere, and it's just somewhere I wanted to be, and it's been more than that, more than that. What did you know about Oklahoma State whenever you hit the portal or even before before then? What did you know about Oklahoma State, about Stillwater, about Oklahoma, about any of that? Really nothing, honestly. Like, I grew up in Big Ten country, so I, just, I grew up watching Purdue and Michigan and Ohio State and all those guys, and I always knew of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, and – I always would play with them on NCAA 14 or those kind of games growing up, but I never would have thought I would be here, and I'm just so happy that I am. So it's been a great experience for me. What surprised you the most maybe about actually getting here for the first time instead of just seeing everything on Zoom like you mentioned? Hmm. I mean, everything really. I mean, the people in Stillwater, the people of Oklahoma, everyone's just so nice here and so welcoming, and it's made my experience that much better, and it's just like, it's been like home for me, so it's just been awesome. Have there been any, maybe not surprises, but with this offensive line, it took a few weeks to get this five together and healthy. And now you guys have, have remained together over the course of those next weeks and gotten better. Any, again, surprises, maybe not the word, but what have you felt about the development? Oh, I love it. You know, we came in a pretty raw group with some veterans on the line, and we just kept working hard. You know, our, our mantra is just keep getting better every week, play by play, and that's, that's what we've done. And uh, we're going to keep building and growing throughout the season, and we're looking forward to getting better this week. What has enabled you guys to gel as, as well as you have? Because you do have your new, Josh played a bunch of spots. You got some other guys that are new in the lineup. What, what enabled you guys to come together this way? I think it's just the bond we all have together. You know, we hang out a lot. And the leadership we have in the line, you know, we all kind of bring each other together all the time. And, Work, whether it's, whether it's extra drills or extra work after practice or just going to get dinner or just talking to a younger guy. You know, we're all about bringing each other in to uh, complete our one goal, which is the Big 12 Championship. And, you know, and we've done that really well. And it's a great group of guys. Coach Dickey's done a great job of bringing us all together and just really working us hard and preparing us every week. And it's just, it's been awesome. What's your relationship like with Spencer? And is that something that you look for in the recruit or in the transfer process of kind of knowing who your quarterback was what's your relationship been like with that oh me and spencer we're like brothers man it's a great relationship we talk a lot 
hang out all the time. Like, we'll, I'll talk to him after every possession. I know he mentioned this earlier, but like, I'll be like, what well, how many snaps? How many snaps? Like, you're making great calls. You're talking loud enough. Like, and we'll just go back and forth on that and just feed off each other's energy. You know, we're kind of like the starters of each play. And when we're rolling, everyone's really rolling. So our relationship's been awesome. Spencer's been awesome. He's, it's been a great time. Anything else for Danny?